Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the fourth quest of Act 7.4 and in this video I will be taking down the superiority path. So this path has a couple of nodes. The first one is that we gain superiority whenever we are facing the defender with a class advantage. There are only two, uh, two classes of defenders on this path which are science and mystic so we only need to bring skill and science champions respectively to defeat the science and mystic defenders and apart from that there is this node called grudge tax which uh, drains our power actually it burns a bit of our power whenever we inflict the defender with debuffs and this chance of us getting power burned gets reduced by a flat 50% if we have class advantage which we ideally should have in all the matches because we also want to make advantage of the superiority node and uh, you can notice at this point I have a fury passive and that is due to the fact that whenever we get uh, whenever we get power burned then we gain this passive fury and if we have superiority then this passive fury is also stack up nicely that was a bit of risky play because I took spider-man to his special 3 and he still didn't throw it and again so yeah cleaning out this fight without eating a special 3 was really a big miracle anyways the next fight is Loki and for mystic defenders on this path I brought human torch and red hook Red Hulk doesn't have any kind of debuff of his own so I'm not getting power burnt. On this occasion since I parry strand Loki so I got power burnt which is actually nice since I also got a nice passive fury. Red Hulk is able to hit consistently hard once you have built up the maximum heat charges up to 10. Yeah, that was a very simple and easy fight. Next up we have Mr. Fantastic and this time I will be using Nick Fury. Again it's going to be a very simple and easy fight. Now Nick Fury has lots of debuffs including the bleed debuff so he's getting power drain quite a bit and that is actually quite nice as we are able to stack up those passive furies as well. And those passive furies are allowing us to hit super hard.
and the next fight is against Hood and I will be using Red Hulk again. Again this is a very easy fight. I just need to bait a special one out of Hood and avoid baiting out his special tools because that can lengthen the fight because of Hood's invisibility. We are also getting some free willpower healing whenever we get inflicted with the power burn debuff. So it's also nice to have that free willpower healing. Moving forward we have to face the sentry and this time I will be using Shang-Chi. That was a big mistake from my end, but still it was very fortunate for me to not get wrecked by a special tree. And the final fight on this path is going to be against this modo for which I brought Human Torch. I am already playing very bad in this fight as well. I tried to throw a heavy when Modo was gaining his power but instead he retaliated and just threw a big special tree and the fight was already over. But we still have lots of attackers available on our team so it's still no big deal. The 
This model is really not cooperating at all. And he has already gone to his special tree. Modo can be a really annoying defender if he is not cooperating. And I got intercepted and killed. So now I will be using Shang-Chi to finish out this fight. So now that I have a slow debuff so I should be able to bypass his astral evade. Again that was a big mistake, I thought I would get my unblockable strike by doing a 4 hit combo but I had forgotten to refresh my wushu strikes with a heavy attack. So thankfully this Mordor went down and with that fight the path is done except the final boss and this time around for the final boss I will be taking on Super Skrull. And I will be swapping in my Symbiote Supreme. Symbiote Supreme is an amazing option for this fight and Super Skrull in general because Super Skrull has lots of buffs which, uh, uh, which Symbiote Supreme can exploit and gain lots of power and be able to throw lots of special attacks. So yeah, on, on paper this fight looks very hard because Super Skrull is an annoying defender on his own and then there are a couple of nodes which just make him stunning very hard and difficult so my advice for you guys is to just approach this fight as stun immune and just proceed forward bait out his special attacks and heavy attacks to find openings like in this case and once you will reach to your special tree the fight should be basically over at that point you will be able to throw a lot of special tools and special trees afterwards and the fight will be completely in your control. You need to be wary of this falter debuff as well. Just hit into his block and it will start expiring. Once I am able to throw the special tree I should be in full control. Yeah, at this point I was running 5 out of 5 Mystic Dispersion because of Alliance Wars. So yeah, this is going to be a absolute cheese. With Singular Supreme I will be throwing lots and lots of special attacks. So yeah that's it from my side on this video and I will see you guys soon in the next one.